Using the OpenShift Flex GUI makes deploying and scaling applications in the cloud a snap. We'll start with adding a cluster called testing and configure the required parameters. OpenShift Flex will use the secret key and access key that I've defined for this cloud provider account when provisioning cloud servers. I'm going to select the default options for cluster location and the characteristics of my cloud servers. The admin password that I'm providing here is used to SSH into the cloud servers as admin. While I'm waiting, I can jump over to the events page and await confirmation that my cluster was created successfully. All these failed attempts there were on purpose as earlier today I was forcing it to fail so that you could see what it looks like in the events page. Now that my cluster is up and running, I'm going to go ahead and create a new application in that cluster and give my app a name and a version. Clicking on the application name brings up the configuration pages that I'll use to define the components required for deployment. The application that I'm going to deploy uses JBoss as its application server and an in-memory database, so I'm actually going to leave the database selection blank. Right now the cloud server in my cluster is being provisioned with the components that I selected. While this is happening, you can notice that the Deploy tab is going to notify me that I've got changes waiting to be deployed. With components installed, it's time to upload my own application. The Files page has a tree structure on the left which shows your application files. From here you can click the Upload button and upload any kind of file you want. I'm going to upload this ear file for example. Once the ear file is uploaded, it's going to be extracted into the bundle directory. I also have to upload an XML file that defines the data store for the application. Before deploying my application, I'm going to make a quick stop over on the Configure tab and review the settings of my components. I had selected JBoss and JDK, so there's parameters here that I can tweak if I choose to. Check out step 2 to see us deploy, modify, roll back, and restart this application.